Hello, and welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at the different taxiway markings. First, let's understand what is a taxiway. A taxiway is a path in an airport that is used by an aircraft. This path connects a runway to different areas of an airport, such as aprons, hangars, terminals, or other facilities. In most airports, taxiways are made of asphalt or concrete. Now let's look at the different taxiway markings. Taxiway center line. There are two types of taxiway center lines. Normal taxiway center line. This center line is a solid yellow line with a black outline. Enhanced taxiway center line. This center line has yellow dashes with black outline on either side of the continuous yellow line. This is used to indicate that the aircraft is approaching a runway. Taxiway edge markings. These markings are used to indicate the edge of the taxiway. There are two types of taxiway edge markings. Continuous markings. These markings consist of two yellow lines. Dashed markings. These markings consist of double yellow lines with gaps in between. Taxiway shoulder marking. These markings indicate a paved surface of the taxiway, which should not be used by aircraft. This prevents an aircraft overrun and provides a path for rescue services. Surface painted taxiway direction. These signs supplement physical signs. These signs use a yellow background with black inscriptions. These signs are painted on the side of the taxiway center line, towards which the taxiway is located. Surface painted location sign. These signs have a black background with yellow inscriptions. They are painted to the right of the taxiway. Holding position markings. There are different holding position markings on a taxiway depending on the type of operation at the airport. Runway holding position. This marking marks the intersection between the runway and the taxiway. An aircraft should cross this solid line only after clearance is obtained from ATC. For crossing the dashed line, no clearance is required. When an aircraft lands, only when the entire aircraft has crossed the holding position, it is considered clear of runway. Holding position for ILS. In airports where an instrument landing system is available, an ILS holding position may be marked. This is to protect the ILS critical area, which ensures there is no disturbance to the ILS signals. Holding position for intersecting taxiways. When two taxiways intersect, a single dashed line Marked on the taxiway is the holding position. Geographic position markings. These markings are used to identify the location of an aircraft. They feature a pink circle with black and white border and black text. The text may be a number and letter or only a number. These markings are only used during low visibility operations. Non-movement area boundary. This marking consists of a solid yellow line and a dashed yellow line. This marking is on the boundary of movement and non-movement areas. Non-movement areas are sections into which an aircraft should not enter. The solid line is on the non-movement area side and the dashed line is on the movement area side. That's all for my video on the taxiway markings. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please share and subscribe, and you can continue watching 
some of my other videos as well.